Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. You're probably thinking, hang on, didn't we just do footings? Why is there another lesson about footings and slab? And the reason for that is because last lesson I was uh, primarily trying to teach you guys the theory and we just used a very simple house. And usually houses are not just one single rectangle. They might be made up of uh, multiple rectangles. So let's do footings and slab for a slightly more complicated shape. So this is a house made up of two rectangles. Okay, so to calculate the volume of concrete for the footings, actually let me just write the question out. So here is the full question. What volume of concrete would be required to fill the footings 350 millimeters wide and 500 millimeters deep for this house okay so let's draw a diagram to show the footings so let's draw a line inside the perimeter of the house okay so basically exact same shape just a little bit smaller so what, we, what we're going to do is label um, label the inside rectangle because what we want right now is we want the area in between. We want the area in between the two rectangles. That's what we want. We want the area of the footings. So let's find the length of the green rectangle. So we have 20 meters is the length along the top now it says that the footings are 300 millimeters wide that means the length from here to here this length here actually let me just label that on the outside this little length is 350 millimeters and so is this part here that's also 350 millimeters let me just point to that. Okay, so if we want to find out the length of the inside, so this top line here, I have to minus, I have to go 20 minus 0 0.35 minus 0 0.35 because there are two ends with 0 0.35 that I have to take off to give me this length. To give me this length so what's the answer here the answer is 19.3 right because if you take 0 0.35 off twice it's the same as taking 0 0.7 off so the inside length is 0 19.3 and uh, the inside length here would be 7.3 because it's 8 minus 0 0.7 the inside length here would be 12 minus 0 0.7 so that would be 11.3 the inside length here would be so let's calculate the outside length first actually so we got 8 meters down this side so 8 minus 3 because this part here is 3 and this part here is 8 so that means this part here must be 8 minus 3 which is 5 okay so this length here is 5 so that means the inside length must be 5 minus 0 0.7 which is 4.3 meters and uh, actually let's just do this part here so that part is 20 minus 12 which is 8 meters on the outside and the inside is actually exactly the same as the outside so how does that work right why is the inside 8 meters because if you have a look visually this green line has shifted to the right 0.3 five meters here so it's shifted to the right from here it's shifted to the right uh, 0 0.35 so that's why 
the length on the inside is zero is eight meters as well. And then the same thing here, this line is simply this line moving up 0 0.35, right? This line has moved up 0 0.35 to get to this line. So this line is three meters on the inside as well. Okay, so now in order to find the area, so the shaded area, the area of footings, Right, it's going to equal the large rectangle area minus the small rectangle area. Okay, so let's do uh, individually. The large rectangle area is made up of, all right, what is it made up of? It's made up of so we're only looking at the large rectangle. It's made up of this rectangle and this rectangle. Okay, two areas. So then to get, to get that, you would go 12 times 8 for the area on the right. So let's do 12 times 8 plus we want this area here which is five times eight oops it's not coming out hang on okay and put that into the calculator and you'll get 136 meters squared, right? Because we're working with meters. So it's going to be meters times meters, which is meters squared. And then let's do the small rectangle area. So the small rectangle area is again made up of two sections. So we got the rectangle on the right over here. And that is calculated from 11.3 uh, times 7.3. So let's do that. 11.3 times 7.3 plus this rectangle here, which is made up of 8 times 4.3. And the answer is 116.89 meters squared, meters squared. So the total uh, area, sorry, the area of the footings is going to be the large rectangle minus the small rectangle, as I've mentioned over here. So it's uh, 136 minus 116.89 and the answer is 19.11 meters squared is the area, the shaded area. Okay, shaded area has been found. Now, what we want is to find the volume of concrete. So volume of concrete that fills these trenches. So in order to do that, so volume of concrete equals the area, the base area. So hopefully you guys remember the formula for volume of a rectangular prism. It's base area times height. So the area of the footings is 19.11 times by the height of the footings or the depth of the trenches is 500 millimeters now 500 millimeters is going to be uh what's that 0 0.5 meters um so now if you put all that in times by 0 0.5 you get 9.555 meters cubed and you might be asked to round it 
9.56 meters cubed. Round it to two decimal places. So that's how you find the volume of concrete for a composite shaped house. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.